Good morning, everyone. Today it's finally sunny. It's been super cloudy or rainy ever since I came back from Cuba where the weather was like perfect. It's not that cold, but these days it's getting a little bit colder. And yeah, it's just been like super gloomy and guys, seasonal depression is real. School starts in a few days, so I'm really glad that the sun came out while I'm still on break so that I can just enjoy it for a while. This afternoon, I'm going to the clinic where I volunteer. So before that, I want to eat and make sure to work out and try to do some editing before I have to leave. So see you. I like to use this Greek yogurt. It's the plain one and it's the 2% fat one. I tried the no fat one, the 0% and it was just not it. So I prefer this one. And then we're gonna put this peanut butter. I love putting peanut butter to my yogurt and a lot of other things as well. I love peanut butter and um, I use this crunchy one that has no salt or sugar added. I like the plain ones, but it has to be crunchy. I love the texture. And I wash some berries to put in my yogurt. I always put a lot of fruit in my yogurt. It's like more yogurt, more fruit than yogurt at this point. Also, something I discovered recently is adding chocolate to my yogurt, which literally just elevates it to a different level. So I really like dark chocolate and I always buy these lint chocolate at the store and they're so cheap too. It's like two for seven dollars or something. So I always buy a lot of these and today I'm using this caramel sea salt one. bit of extra nuts in my yogurt just to add that extra crunch and protein and healthy fats to my breakfast so I like to use pecans I feel like it goes the best with salads and yogurts so I use these um, natural pecans and I roast them myself because these ones I forgot to get oven roasted ones so I preheat the oven to 180 degrees celsius i think that's enough i just roast them for around six seven minutes once i roasted them for like eight minutes or something and they got burnt so check on them periodically so that they don't get burned Oh yeah, you can also add some salt or cinnamon to it if you like that, but I don't have or like cinnamon, so I'm not gonna put any. Also, if you have a thick layer of nuts that you're roasting or if you have a lot in the pan, try to take it out of the oven after three minutes or so so that you can flip through them so that the ones from the bottom can get to the top and also bake more evenly oh my gosh the oven smells so good right now i think they're almost finished oh my gosh that smells really good So I'm gonna eat my breakfast now and do some editing. Ugh, the sun is in my eyes. Let me close this. I finished! 
that was so good guys i used to eat this every day i swear i'm not even kidding when i go to the gym i always bring my exercise mat my ipad and my my gloves and my workout band so it's 11 o'clock now and i'm going to go work out so it's just on the third floor so it's really easy for me to go So I like to come in the morning if I don't have class because then there's less people here and this is my favorite little corner So I really like this corner because the whole wall is just mirror and on the other side it's all windows so it's a nice view and yeah and it's a pretty secluded corner where I can do my mat work so I always come here first to start with cardio for about 20 minutes and I've recently been watching a lot of growing Ananas videos and so today I'm gonna be doing the 24 minute full body hit. I always sweat a lot and it gets my heart rate up a lot um, from doing her workouts so let's hope this will be good. And I have an old ankle injury and I also hurt my back recently doing the row machine so I'm going to be going a bit easy today. It's healing super slowly and it's been bothering me for quite a while but I still try to work out because it doesn't, it doesn't make it worse when I work out so I still try to stay consistent with my routine. <laughs> think of putting jump lunges and burpees together. That was killer. Oh, I always like to do some ab workouts after my cardio just because I'm like super warmed up and I feel like that adrenaline is going and I have energy to crush an ab workout now. So I love doing Pamela's workouts. I'm sure you all know her. She's like the workout queen on YouTube and I have been following her since 2020 since I started working out. They're like super intense but they're also cute and funny and just super fun. So I'm gonna do this one, this uh, good mood party music app workout. I really like this one. It, it goes with the music on the beat. So it's fun to do and you don't think about your suffering as much. <laughs> At the end, there were so many high planks and just planks just in a row. I swear, Pamela is a beast. Okay, so I'm going to go get some weights now because I want to do some leg work. I gotta put these on because I used to not wear them and when I 
when I go on one of those machines or the pull-up machine or use weights because it's a steel bar, um, I would get a lot of calluses on my hands. So to protect my hands, I use these gloves. I just got them on Amazon. I got this workout band from Lily Sabri. If you don't know her, she's my other favorite workout YouTuber. She makes amazing videos and she's so bubbly and fun. So I used to do so many of her longer workouts. Her um, booty workouts are really good. And so this is her booty band that she made and I love it because it's adjustable here and it's super intense so it's really effective. And I like to use this for any of my leg work or booty work. I'm not gonna do that much leg because sometimes when I do Bulgarian split squats, my lower back injury would hurt again so I only do a few of those and try not to push myself okay so I'm just gonna do some stretching before I go back upstairs that was a good workout my mom made this beef bowl and it's um I guess Korean style bulgogi bowl and there's cheese on the bottom and you put some row on the top. It's very yummy. Mmm, My mom added some seaweed. Christmas tree is still up. Of course, the train just left, and I'm gonna be late. Oh, I hope it comes soon. Line one, towards Finn. When I come, I never have to bring water because we just got this this really nice water dispenser and I can just get water from here. I'm kind of hungry so I'm gonna just eat a quick snack before I go back to work. I also have this matcha milk cookie thing <laughs> also from TNT I just got a Christmas present from the doctors it's a little belated because we were on break and I wasn't here but today is my first shift back after New Year, so they gave it to me today. It is an iPhone. Just kidding. They just put it in this bag for me, so it's easier for me to carry home. It is a pack of roasted nuts because I love mixed nuts. And they gave me a choice of a box of chocolates or nuts and I picked the healthier present. 
they were so sweet. They gave every volunteer a Christmas present and they also gave us a cute note to thank us for our help in the clinic and it was so sweet. Not me eating it right now because I'm so hungry and I barely finished my lunch because I was in a rush trying to come to the clinic and now it is 7 p.m. and I will only get home at like 9 p.m. and I still need to grocery shop with my mom before I get to go home so I needed this snack. I've just been doing a lot of filing today and taking patient vitals when they come into the clinic. So for filing, if the clinic gets faxes from other places, for example, the hospital or when we receive test results, we file them to the correct patient's chart so that the doctor can check them and we make sure it's under the right category so it's all organized. And whenever a patient comes in to see the doctor, we take their vitals, so their blood pressure, and other measurements. I like this room because it's a lot warmer than the rest of the clinic because uh, we have the air filter on at max level at the other places and it gets super cold because of it. So yeah, but I need to go back to work now. I just left the clinic and it's 8.15 but at the last moment we realized we needed to do some calls so I stayed late. I just got off the subway halfway because there was this sketchy looking man walking back and forth all along it and just yelling randomly. So I got worried and now I have to wait for the next one. Typical day in Toronto. I swear this happens to me way too much. Hello? Guys, look at how much nuts I have in my house now. I have this, and then I have a whole box of this, and pecans that I roasted today, and some leftover nuts that I didn't finish. This is going to last me until, yeah, the rest of the school year, probably. For dinner, I am having the same beef bowl from lunch. There were still some left. And this squash and tomato soup that my mom made. I used to love to eat this. And there was some leftover fish also from yesterday cooked with Chinese sauerkraut vegetables. <laughs> The Wolf on Wall Street. Mm. And a piece of cheesecake for dessert. So I just showered and I'm gonna watch a movie now with my mom because we've been talking about it since yesterday. My break is almost over and I still haven't seen a movie with her. So I really wanna do that. And we didn't have a chance to yesterday, but we're gonna watch The Wolf on Wall Street because I heard it's really good and I never had a chance to watch it. 
so we will start that today however i think it is three hours or something so it's really long we might just need to finish it tomorrow but we'll see how it goes Mm-hmm. <laughs> 